Hi guys, in this video, we're going to see how to paint an iOS application using Updation. Okay, so I already recorded a video, so I'm adding the voice now. Okay, so first let's install the Updation. Before that, you need to connect the iOS device to the Linux or the Windows machine using the USB cable. After that, I'm installing the PIP objection using the PIP3. PIP3 install objection. By this command, you're going to install the objection. Okay. So now, let's see what all the processes, I mean, what all the applications has been installed on my iOS device. If you see here, these are all the applications which are installed on my iPhone. Okay. Test flight, you can see Twitter, Safari, Photos, Phone Pay, ATM for Business, etc. These are all the applications which are installed on my device. Okay, so now let's choose Twitter as our target. Okay, so now we're going to use objection, I can G, followed by the package name and explore. Okay, so we are going to explore the Twitter application using the objection. Okay, so let's wait. Let's the device get detected. So let's wait. Okay, so now we are hook the process with the objection. I mean, we move the Twitter to the objection. Okay, so now let's see how to bypass the external certification. So by using the simple command, iOS SSL in a bypass, I can, I can fight. Okay, by this command, you can disable the SL antenna. Okay, so it's the same for all the applications. And now, Let's also see for how to disable the jailbreak using the objection. So for this, I'm going to use the command called iOS jailbreak. Okay, disable. Yeah. So by this, we can able to disable the jailbreak detection for the Twitter. Okay. So it might be with any other application, you, you can use the same command. So by using iOS jailbreak disable, you can do that. Disable the so coming to the next one. So I wish info binary. So by this command, you can see whether the Twitter IPA has been encrypted or not. Okay, if you see here, all are true, means this IPA has been in encrypted. Okay, so let's see in the next command. I wish keychain dump. Here I can dump the all the keychain information of the Twitter. Okay, so now let's see the next one. So I wish cookies get. So by this command, we can get the piece of the Twitter. Okay. And these are all the entry payments. If you see the cookie on like the clear text format, you can report it. And the next command is iOS biometric bypass. By this command, iOS UA biometric bypass, you can bypass the like fingerprint. Okay. So iOS paste code monitor. So what it's going to do is like, you know, if you do any copy paste, it's going to we can see that in the screen. Okay. So now I'm going to do that, like, you know, copy the noisy hacker in the Twitter. So if you see here, like, you know, the pasteboard has the noisy hacker. In the Twitter, I just copied, like, in the name search, I copied search for the noisy hacker by copy pasting it. So I got the test data. So if you see here, like, you know, let's see the next one. So I'm going to uh, copy, like, noisy hacker objection. Okay. So we will get that data here, pasteboard, which we uh, which I copy in the pasteboard, we will get that in the pasteboard monitor. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So. So like you know, you can also get the NS user defaults. Okay, NS URL credentials. So let's see that. So now I'm going to get the iOS NS user defaults. All right, you can also search with NS user credentials. Okay, so now I'm going to only search for the, I mean, NS user defaults. I will better get. So I am going to dump the NS user default and we need to search for any sensitive information is stored in or not. Okay, so next. So let's search for the get URLs. So for this iOS, NS user credential storage, I can dump. Okay, so by this you can dump the sensitive information. You need to check for whether there is any sensitive information stored or not. Okay. 
Okay, guys, thank you, thank you so much.